Hey, so yo, check this out. The other day, this dude asked me, why do you like fishing? And I said, yo, why do you like breathing? <laughs> So this is why I like fishing. It just makes you feel alive, man. <laughs> All right, guys, so look, last time I was out, man, y'all had a chance to see me whacking them with the combat craw, right? from Bro Outdoors. <laughs> and today, I decided, man, I'll give another crack at it because they were hitting so good last time. But today I'm trying something a little different. Instead of dragging it on the bottom like a traditional craw, I'm swimming it. Man, and they going crazy. I've already caught a few largemouth bass and some good sized smallies. And on the lake that I'm at, um, the smallies don't grow that big. But the ones I caught today, were actually larger than the ones that I normally catch out here so this bait is awesome man normally I'd bury the hook but because I'm swimming it I'm just leaving it right up there exposed so the hookup ratio is a lot easier it's a lot better and this is the green pumpkin with red and black flake and it's working let's get back at it so I noticed that the conditions are changing so I'm gonna go for the popper get a little bit more disturbance in the water see if we can get them fired up again so this is what I have
So I had to make a change, switch to the popper, and got the action popping. <laughs> it's a nice smaller, yo. Let's get her back in the water. <laughs> Yo, that was wild. <laughs> Look. Uh, I can see that. Yeah, it's over there. Oh, stay there, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo. Man, I almost lost him. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. See if I can get you out of here. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. All right. There we go. <laughs> Yo, almost lost this big girl. <laughs> the popper's putting in work. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! That's what it's about. <laughs> Yo, don't panic. Just figure it out. Figure out how to get them in without breaking the line, without killing yourself. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> The Rebel Pop R. Got it popping today, boy. Let's get her off the hook. Try to get her back in the water. 
Yo, that's a good one, man. That's a good one. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> Let's go. I'm ready to switch to another bait, y'all, but it's hard to make a switch when they biting like that. So aggressive. Love it. All right, guys, so the bite has changed again, so I got to change with the times. Popper is no longer working, and um, I feel like drop shotting. So I'm going to head to deeper water and throw the drop shot. I was just looking around in the boat, man, and I found a pair of cool glasses. I think my father-in-law left them. And uh, I'm going to try them out. I hope he doesn't mind. <laughs> Man, they feel good and they look good. <laughs> and look what I just discovered, man. All this time cruising, I forgot my phone, man. I'm so thankful it didn't fly off the boat. <laughs> Man, I've already lost a GoPro that way. Can't afford to lose no phone, man. Jeez. All right, like I said, I'm in deeper water now, about 13, 14 feet. Before, I was fishing real shallow, man, like two feet or less. <laughs> and that's where they were. But something changed, so I'm trying to change with it and uh, go with the drop shot. So back to the spinning rod we go. Let's see what we can make happen. Uh, see what I'm gonna tie on. I don't know just yet. Got to dig in the bag. See if we can do some drop shotting with the kill shot and get some big bass. Let's see.
right, check it out. To sum it up, man, it's been a great day on the water. A beautiful Sunday. A lot of nice bass. I caught them in a few different ways. I hit them with the, the combat craw. I hit them with the popper. And I wrapped it up with the Angler's Choice kill shot. <laughs> been a beautiful day. Let's get this girl back in the water. And um, until next time, make adjustments, not excuses. I'm out. <laughs>